welcome back students to the trigonometry expansions type 3 uh, expansion of sine cosine and tangent in terms of theta when theta is measured in radians uh, let us recall that uh, exponential e power x can be written as an infinite series 1 plus x over 1 factorial, x square over 2 factorial, 1 plus x over 1 factorial, plus x square over 2 factorial, plus x cube over 3 factorial, and so on. And this function is called real exponential function. Now, what you would do here is, we simply replace this x by the complex quantity, namely i theta. So, when we replace x by i theta, we get e power i theta. And we know that e power i theta can be written as cos theta plus i sin theta. So we can write it as cos theta plus i sin theta. So what we are going to do is, we are going to replace x by the complex quantity e power i theta. So when we, when, when we do that, now replacing x by i theta, we have a complex exponential function. Complex exponential function. We will define what is an exponential function. Uh, in a separate video, okay. So this is a complex exponential function. So e power i theta. In place of x, what we have to do is we have to replace it by i theta. So we have to write i. So one plus i theta over one factorial plus i theta whole square over two factorial plus i theta whole cube over three factorial plus i theta whole power four over four factorial and so on. So this goes. Now, replacing e power i theta by cos theta plus i sin theta. This is Euler's form, right? So, we replace this by cos theta plus i sin theta. What do we get is 1 plus i theta over 1 factorial plus i theta whole square over 2 factorial plus i theta whole cube over 3 factorial and so on. And uh, we also know that uh, i square, we, we write minus 1 as uh, i square is minus 1 and i is square root of minus 1. So, square root of minus 1 is i. Therefore, i square becomes minus 1 and i cube becomes minus i. i power 4 becomes 1 and i power 5 becomes i. So, and so on. So, this goes indefinitely. Okay. So what do we do is, uh, we equate real and imaginary parts uh, in this equation, in this equation. So what do we do here, when we equate real parts, so you collect all the parts which are independent of the term i. So you will have cos theta, which is the real part of on the left hand side and there is no i term here, so 1 will be there. Here we have i, but i square is minus 1 i square is minus 1. So, this is real part. So, minus theta square by 2 factorial. And i cube, in i cube we will have i. But in i power 4 we do not have i. i power 4 is 1. So, i power 4 becomes 1. So, this is theta power 4 by 4 factorial. And then the next term we will have i power 6. i power 6 can be written as i power 4 times i square i power 4 is 1, i square is minus 1. So, that becomes real. So, minus theta power 6 by 6 factorial. Next term will be positive theta power 8 by 8 factorial. And it goes indefinitely. So, this is the value of cos theta when expressed in terms of radians. When expressed in terms of radian. Theta is in radians. So, we have to remember that for both the formula, theta is in radians, expressed in radians. Okay, theta should be measured only in terms of radians. Okay, right. Next, what do we do is we collect the imaginary part. So the coefficient of i, the coefficient of i on the left hand side is sin theta. So in your imaginary part, collect from this sin theta, and that is equal to uh, what is the coefficient of i here? Theta by one factorial, theta over one factorial, minus uh, i cube is minus i. So, minus theta cube over 3 factorial. Minus theta cube over 3 factorial. 
So I cube is minus x. I cube is minus x. Therefore, this is minus theta cube over three factorial. And then next term will be theta power five. So i power five is i. I power i power five is i. So next term of the sine theta is theta power five over five factorial. And the next term is i power seven. I power seven is i power four, which is one. I cube is minus i. So minus theta power seven over seven factorial. This goes indefinitely. Now see uh, the powers of theta differ by two, and uh, terms are alternatively positive, positive, negative, positive, negative. See here theta power zero, theta square, theta power four, theta power six. Here theta power one. Three, five, seven. So the powers of theta increase by two, and the signs are alternatively plus and minus. And the important thing that we have to remember here is theta is measured in terms of radians. See, if you measure theta in terms of degree, then this formula is not valid. This will turn out to be uh, nonsense uh, when theta is measured in terms of degree measure. Okay. So we have to remember that theta should be measured in radians. And uh, what is the important thing? Uh, there are two points to be noted. What happens when theta tends to zero? When theta tends to zero, when theta becomes much closer to zero, gets closer to zero, the powers of uh, theta, higher powers of theta, namely theta square, theta cube, and so on, all of them will tend to zero faster than theta. So in that case, what happens is uh, all these terms will become Much closer to zero than theta. So when theta tends to zero, sine theta tends to theta. So that is the reason sine theta tends to zero as theta tends to zero. Likewise, uh, theta square, theta power four, all we we approach zero faster than theta. So cos theta becomes one. So as theta tends to as theta tends to, you can write as theta tends to zero. Okay. So this is an observation. And uh, as as we have said. The above exp exp expansions are all valid only when theta is expressed in terms of radians, not in degrees. Okay, not in degrees. Now, with the help of sine theta and cos theta, with the help of sine theta, these two expansions, we can express uh, tan theta in terms of uh, theta also. We can express tan theta in terms of theta. Okay. Now we are going to do that. Tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. And we know what is sine theta. Sine theta is theta minus theta cube by three factorial plus theta power five by five factorial minus theta power seven by seven factorial. Just now we have derived that. Likewise, cos theta is one minus theta square over two factorial plus theta power four over four factorial minus theta power six over six factorial, and so on. Now, what do we do here is uh, you write the numerator as it is, same numerator. Don't change it. And uh, we 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 slightly change the denominator. See, you keep one as it is. You pull out the negative sign from the rest of the terms in the denominator. You pull out the negative term from the rest of. When you pull out negative term, then this becomes theta square by two factorial minus theta power four by four factorial plus theta power six by six factorial. Everything is contained in a bracket. Now the purpose of writing that is, uh, you will be able to understand a little while from now. And uh, see what do we do is uh, this is of the form a over b. So we are taking uh, the denominator. We are taking the denominator to. We are taking this denominator. We are taking this denominator to the numerator. This taking this denominator to the numerator. So this can be written as one minus theta square by two factorial minus theta power four by four factorial plus theta power six by six factorial raised to the power. Minus one. As as we are all aware that uh, if we have one by b, we can write it as b power minus one. So you can take it to the numerator and write it as with a negative index or negative power. Okay. So that's what we are doing. We are taking this term to the numerator with the index raised to the power minus one. In the index raised to the index with the index minus one. Okay. Power raised to the power. Power is raised to minus one. And this term, the numerator remains the same, namely theta minus theta cube. So that remains the same. 
the purpose uh, of taking this term to the numerator is this is the purpose see 1 over 1 minus x can be written as 1 minus x power minus 1 and you can write binomial expansion for that binomial series expansion 1 plus x plus x square and so on when mod x is less than 1 when mod x is less than of course all our expansions are for small values of theta okay so uh, mod x is less than 1 so what we are going to do is 1 minus this term we are going to consider the term inside the bracket we have to consider it as x so when you consider that as x 1 minus x raised to the power minus 1 so sir, this is of this form so this is something of this form okay so this this completely coincides with the, this form so we can write the expansion for that we can so we have to expand that so 1 plus see when you look at that this is our x right 1 minus x raised to the power minus 1 that is 1 plus the whole term is x so 1 plus x plus and then the bracket inside that that is x whole square and so on times this will be as it is so theta minus this term is going to be as it is no change okay now what we are going to do is now we have to multiply this one with this term so one multiplied by this what you will get is ah before that what do we do is before that we what do we do is let us simplify this term let us simplify this let us simplify whole thing okay we are going to simplify uh, this bracket completely we are going to simplify that so we are going to write 1 as it is and then theta square by 2 factorial is there and then theta power 4 we have theta power 4 that is also there theta power 6 is also there theta power 6 is also there and from here we are going to consider only the first term when you square it up theta square by 2 whole square theta square by 2 whole square is theta power 4 by 2 factorial is 2 when you square it up what you will get is theta power 4 by 4 we leave the other terms because we do not require we need only up to theta power 5 and uh, we are not going to consider powers which are greater than theta power 5 so theta power 4 by 4 factorial we are going to stop with that not beyond that of course when you when you square it up what you will get is theta power 8 by 6 uh, 4 factorial square so we do not require those terms we are going to consider only terms up to theta power 5 so after having simplified and collected collecting only the terms which are required for us terms which are required for us so having done that having done that what do we have is what do we have is one plus these three terms will be there and only one term from here square of this term will be here and this is as it is no change this is the expression remember this is the expression for sin theta as it is okay now what do we do here is now you take one multiply the whole bracket so you pick first three terms belong to the white tick white tick okay and take the next term theta square by 2 factorial multiply it with the first two terms because when you multiply theta square with the theta power 5 it becomes theta power 7 we do not want that we restrict ourselves only powers of theta up to 5 so theta power 5 is enough so you take theta square by 2 multiply with the first two, two terms what you will get is this is what you get and then you take theta power 4 by 4 factorial multiply that with the first term theta so that you will get theta power 5 no other terms are required because theta power 4 multiplied by theta cube is theta power 7 we do not want that so multiply this with the theta only so you can follow the color scheme uh, white tick stands for these three green tick stands for these two terms and the yellow tick stands for these two terms yellow tick stands for these two terms okay so color scheme uh, helps us 
to understand and then and these two theta power 4 multiplied by theta will give you theta power 5 by theta power 5 by 4 this is 4 theta power 5 by 4 ok so this is what uh, after multiplying that now what do we get is you let us simplify this theta let us simplify this theta and then collect the terms theta cube pull out theta cube you will have minus 1 over 3 factorial is 6 when you collect the theta cube you will have 1 over 2 and then theta power 5 theta power 5 when you pull out theta power 5 you will have 1 by 5 factorial which is 1 over 120 and uh, when you pull theta power 5 you will have minus 1 over 3 factorial times 2 factorial this is 6 times 2 12 and when you pull out theta power 5 from here you will get one minus 1 over 4 factorial which is minus 1 over 24 when you pull out theta power 5 from this term you will have 1 over 4 now what do we do is we have to simplify when you simplify these two uh, taking LCM as 6 so this is 3 minus 2 2 over 6 likewise uh, the LCM of all these numbers is 120 you will have 1 here it is 10 it is 5 and here it is 30 ok so when you simplify this you will get 16 over 120 you will get 16 over 120 and 2 over 6 can be cancelled with 1 over 3 16 over 120 can be cancelled with 8 2 times 8 this is 15 times 8 so finally what do we get is tan theta is equal to theta plus 1 by 3 theta cube plus 2 over 15 theta power 5 so this is the expansion of tan theta in terms of theta when theta is measured in radius. So this is the type 3 expansion and we will be doing problems based on this in the next video. Okay. Thank you for watching.